your motive is irrelevant if the strategy you're using is of the enemy. Well, how do I know? Well, are you walking backwards? Are you lifting yourself up? Are you trying to tell other people how to... Um, are, you, are you keeping people away from being happy because they have a problem to solve? Are you interrupting people to try to correct them? Assuming that they're happy? Right? Do you not discern that they're happy? Are you not paying attention? Are you just... Are you enforcing religious enslavement? Right? The Bible says we're kings and priests. What's the opposite of those? I'd have to say slaves and oppressors. Right? The Bible says to be imitators of God. Why? Why does it tell us that? Because we're opposite of that. We're not Im imitators of God. We're imitators of demons. Okay? We're imitators of demons. That's the whole point. So when we, uh, excuse me, when we find, when we find out what our effect is, we get pretty upset, right? What do we want to do? We want to run away from the image of that. I don't know where do we go. Well, if God's plan is it for is for you to go to Him and let Him deal with the problem, and you don't do that, there's really one, only one other option. That's to go the opposite way, and the enemy's will comes to pass because you won't let God solve your problem. Or rather, you won't employ the, the kingdom means to solve the problem. <laughs> pressure is a sign. If you feel pressure, that's a sign that things are currently working. If you're tempted, that's a sign that you have a, a stance. A good stance. If you feel like you're surrounded, that means you disagree with the enemy. That's a, those are good signs. Right? Those are good signs. If you're being opposed, same thing, right? Pressure or whatever. It might not be pressure. It might just be obstinate will. The hope that you would try to be perfect is what the enemy wants you to have. Because then it can just lead you around by what all the stuff that you're doing wrong. Oh, you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. And so you change what you're doing. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. If people are doing that, hey, don't do that. Right. You're imitating the devil. Right. So. Yeah. Correction is not the goal. It's definitely, perfection is definitely not the goal. It's not perfection at all. It's um, fulfillment. It's completion. It's it's removal of the enemy, and 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 the invitation of God. You want to replace torment, inconsistency, irresolution. Just all the negative stuff with God, right? I mean, negativity and positivity is, as I said in a, one, another video, it's an indicator of where you're at and what you have. It's an indicator of what you, of where you are and what you have. And your condition. Where are you? What do you have? What's your condition? Are you heading in the right direction? There are a few other questions that could be asked. That need to be asked. Are you walking in love? Are you loving your brother? Love doesn't always feel good. Well, I thought you said positivity. Well, yeah, but you have to have positivity. 
If you don't have it, if you disagree with that, it's going to shake you. Okay, you might have to be destroyed. Okay, you might have to be destroyed and then rebuilt. Okay, if, if the Lord doesn't build it, it's going to get torn down. Cooperating with God will really speed up, excuse me, will really speed up the ability for the Holy Spirit to enforce things on the earth. And then we can get out of here, right? We love people till God's will is in their lives, and then poof. It's weird. That one little it's a distraction. Or is it an is it a, a curious amusement? I call it a curious amusement, actually. Not so much a distraction. So there are positives and negatives. So if you're after perfection, you're gonna be obsessed with doing tasks and, and, and avoiding goodness and not receiving things. Those are indicators, right? If uh, like you want, uh, what you want is to enjoy things and to share, right? Enjoyment and sharing. Get away from the narcissist. Don't conversate. Don't respond to anything they say. Now, I'm telling you this. But if you think, okay, oh wow, I can't, I gotta, I gotta get away from this. If you're destabilized, if you're shaky. Now, why does it sound like I'm saying the opposite? I thought you said love your brother. Now stay away from the narcissist. I thought you said you want, you know, sometimes you you gotta be shaky when light opposes you. Oh no, you gotta get away from the narcissist. You don't want to be shaky. There are two types of destruction. You want to follow God. You want to know. You want to. I mean. If, if you're in your mind about things that are right, oh yeah, this is right, and that's right, and this is right, and this is right, and you're obsessed, and you're, and, you, and you're not clear of mind, you're under oppression. You're allowing that oppression. You're not... You might need to, you know, enforce other people and what's coming out of them and say, hey, you know, listen, stop doing these things. You know, um, I, I wrote a list. In fact, I, in fact, I, I'm pretty sure it's the last, uh, last video. You know, people trying to tell you what's right and trying to fix you and they're, they're obsessed and they're arrogant and they're, you know, they're just, uh, all I do is think of you in a negative way. It's not my responsibility to help you accept my decisions. Your irresolutions are meant not meant for the ears of others. Do not turn to the left or the right. <laughs> you know, listen, I'm not going to claim to have a whole ton of knowledge. In fact, you really only want the knowledge that you can use. You don't want to know it. It's, it's, it's just like, we we're well, why and I were talking yesterday, and noggin, right? Noggin is a is slang for, for, for the head. Where did that come from? I didn't know, and we were talking about, I don't remember where, oh, he said it, right? You were playing with toys and stuff, like he said noggin. I said, where did that even come from? And I realized I don't even care. I used to look up all these words, go to etymology, I would do etymology searches for words and where did this come from and all this stuff. It's just too much. I don't need to know everything. For a while I need, I wanted to. And I've gained a mass amount of knowledge. But whenever I have a conversation, I realize I'm ignorant. <laughs> so, because people have vast, vastly different vastly deep and vastly different perspectives and, and things and they know whatever right and so it's, it's it's always good to be prepared but it's not it's you're not meant to re-lead the narcissist you're meant to oppose and destroy the narcissist once they're destroyed 
that goes to the next step. But leading, you only want to lead people who ask to be led. Like, they want to say, you, you want to hear them say, okay, what do I do? And you have to say, I will tell you one thing and I'm going to wait to be told by God whether or not you're doing it or not. I'm not going to stand over you. I'm not going to follow you around. I'm not going to watch and I don't want to hear what you what you've done. Oh, I did this. Like as if I'm the one that's supposed to accept you. Or approve. I'm not your judge. Okay? The things I judge are for my own safety. Okay? And by extension, the safety of my family. That's it. I don't care about you in that way. Your growth is out of my control. I'm not going to teach you. Okay? The Holy Spirit will teach you. Okay? So, this is just for the believer. Just follow the path, man. Recognize that God will say something to you to do something, and then he'll confirm it. Don't speak those things. Don't ever speak those things. Do not speak the things that God tells you. Keep it inside, because it's like pressure that builds, and then it turns into action if you can hold it inside. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and, and slow to become offended or get angry, because the righteousness, or the anger does not promote the righteousness of God. Hello. I mean, anger does not promote the righteousness of God. These things are so simple. But people who are obsessed with oppression, thinking that I don't want I don't want to pay the price for freedom, so I'll just do this. Oh, this is an option, yeah. It's not an option. I mean, uh, in term, you know, it it might be valid in terms of oh, it works. It only works on the weak. It only works when you oppress people when the oppression comes. Oh, it works. I got my way. And it's, I used to say um, to God, I was uh, I was in rebellion, and I used to say, uh, I'm not doing, I don't want to do things God's way or the enemy's way. I want to do things my way. And God said, there was no other way until the enemy decided to do his own thing. There was no devil's way until Lucifer decided to do his own thing. That was it. So, again, I could go on. I could just keep talking and describing things, but you don't need to. Let me say one more thing. I'll listen to a sermon. I'll go on YouTube or wherever in five minutes, and then I pause it. I'm not in it for knowledge. Knowledge is not the ultimate goal. It's a result, right? And you, and you want momentum from the results that happen, not like, oh, wow, that's neat. Oh, you got energy, man. Do something with it. That's it. Otherwise, you're just going to, you know, get all spiritually obese and just sit around and do nothing. And then be afraid and then try to get other try to get other people involved. And then you end up being the narcissist. I don't want the <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want the narcissist on my throne. So you got to think of attitude and intention and and um the, what's the strategy at play? If you have the wrong intention, you'll be in darkness. You won't see the the you won't see the source, strategy, and effect of what you choose. You won't see those things. That's what darkness is. So if you're in darkness and you're trying to do stuff, you're causing damage. It's guaranteed. It's just your attitude. Even if no, even if you just sit there, there's something you stink. Some na some negative things coming off you because you're wielding lies, deception, misleading, which means to lead the wrong way. It's like misfire, right? It doesn't you you know uh, it doesn't aim at what you're doesn't hit what you're aiming at. Okay, you getting it? So, I have a desire to uh, 
you know, trim this. Yeah. Now it's okay. Before I felt I was wrong because there needed to be something to that was accomplished. That's called focus. It's called focus. And then after it's focused to fulfillment to freedom. You could think of it that way, right? So I choose to walk a path and not veer from that path. I want to deliver whatever I have. What happens with you? What do you experience? You experience a display in your imagination assuming that you're benefiting from this, assuming you're listening to the Lord and you're discerning it and it's the right time to listen to it. And maybe you're not supposed to listen to this. Maybe God has you do something else. We got to stop thinking that everyone's got to stop thinking that they're right about everything. I seriously, I could just I could go on forever.